In this video, we will be demonstrating the steps required to properly maintain the Viking Model D2 air pressure maintenance device. The D2 air pressure maintenance device is used on Viking dry, pre-action, and pneumatically operated deluge systems. Before working on the D2 air maintenance device, refer to the appropriate Viking technical data page to properly remove the system from service. Once the system is properly removed from service, the D2 maintenance device can be taken off the valve trim. The available replacement parts can be found on the D2 air maintenance device technical data sheet or in the replacement parts book. The most current information can be found on the Viking website. The replacement parts available for the model D2 air pressure maintenance device are available either in the repair kit or individually. The replacement parts available in the repair kit are the cover screws, the diaphragm assembly, the valve housing assembly, the filter seal, and the filter. In addition to the parts and assemblies included in the repair kit, the following parts are available separately. The adjustment screw, the adjustment spring, the lock nut, the spring retainer, the filter cap, and the Schrader valve assembly. To remove the diaphragm assembly, place the D2 air maintenance device in the upright position and remove the six cover screws. Separate the cover from the body and remove the spring and spring retainer. Now you can remove the diaphragm assembly from the body. With the spring, spring retainer, and diaphragm assembly removed, we can now see the Schrader core inside the body. To replace the Schrader valve assembly only, use a 716 socket to unthread the Schrader valve assembly from the body. Install the Schrader valve assembly and tighten using a 7 16 socket. At this point, you can reassemble the air maintenance device. Begin by installing the cover diaphragm assembly. Place the spring retainer in the center of the cover diaphragm assembly. Take the cover and remove the adjustment screw. Place the cover onto the body assembly and install the six cover screws. Place the spring in the center of the cover and reinstall the adjustment screw. The air maintenance device is now ready to be tested and installed into the valve trim. Next, we will disassemble the air maintenance device to allow us to replace the parts included with the repair kit. We begin by removing the six cover screws from the cover of the air maintenance device. Separate the cover from the body, remove the adjustment spring, the spring retainer, and the diaphragm assembly. Rotate the air maintenance device to access the filter cap. Remove the filter cap from the housing using an inch and a quarter socket or wrench.
with the filter exposed, remove the filter seal using a small flat screwdriver. Do not worry about damaging the filter seal as this will be replaced later. The filter should now easily fall out of the filter cap. Next, remove the housing assembly from the body using the same socket. To install the new parts provided in the repair kit, begin by installing the new housing assembly into the body. While holding the filter cap, insert the new filter and the new filter seal into the filter cap. Install the filter cap onto the body assembly and tighten with the socket. Rotate the air maintenance device back to the upright position. Place the new diaphragm assembly into the body and set the spring retainer in the center of the diaphragm assembly. Take the cover and remove the adjustment screw. Place the cover onto the body assembly and install the six cover screws. Place the spring in the center of the cover and reinstall the adjustment screw. The air maintenance device is now ready to be tested and installed into the valve trim. This concludes the D2 air maintenance device repair video.